Welcome guys to another tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to get the last record entered into an SQL Server database using C Sharp. So I've already added a data grid view and a refresh button that will refresh the database anytime a new record is entered. So to get started let's insert a button. So anytime we click on this button it's going to get the last record entered into a text box so text box so you can just edit this button a little bit button get then enter Enter the text which is get last. I just say get last name. Increase this a bit. Increase this a bit. So this is it. So we can double click on this and start writing our code. Meanwhile, this is our connection string right here. So as you can see, I've already added something already to it. So in the code, we're going to write SQL command CMD. You can name it. You can name it anything you want. And then we're going to type SQL data reader. Sorry, in the next line rather. SQL data reader SR equals null and then next you write CMD you type CMD dot connection equals con which is the connection string and then next we write, we write the command text which is cmd.command text which will be equal to, which will equal select top in bracket one which is the first and then this will be the the serial number which will be the colon sorry will be the colon name yes colon name by which we are ordering it for and then this will be the table name which is sales which i already have down here sales my table name and then sn which is which will be my id so select star from select top one sn from register from sales order by sn desk so i'm going to open the connection the next will be sr which is your SQL data reader equals cmd dot execute non reader execute reader rather so if sr dot read then text box one dot text will equal sr dot get value in bracket zero dot to string so that's all you need to do then next we're going to close the connection which is con dot close so that's pretty much it so if we go ahead and run this application 
this is already the data and the database already so get last name so this is the last record would be actually three which is the last one here so to get this stuff we we'll just change this sn to the name which is custom so start get last name john phillips so that's how you create an application that can get the last record entered into the database so if it were to be the goods you want to select the last good you just you know change the customer to goods to quantity or whatever you want so thank you for watching this tutorial if you like this tutorial and it's helpful to you please like and subscribe to this channel for more videos and i'll see you next time bye